Hi, welcome back to HeyFunkyDrama.com. My name is Stu Roberts and today we're going to be having another look at linear drumming. Uh, for those of you who have seen the first video, you'll remember that linear drumming is where only one part of the drum kit sounds at any one time. So in the first video, we checked out a beat that sounded uh, like this. In that instance, you can hear that there's only one part of the kit sounding at any one time, which is a complete opposite to, you know, our kind of basic rock rhythm where we've got bass drum and hi-hat coming together, hi-hat and snare drum, this kind of thing. So today, to extend our linear drumming vocabulary, we're going to learn a fresh beat, which is very loosely based on what Steve Gadd played on a Chick Corea record uh, called Linenor, which is really worth checking out. Um, so let's, uh, let's take it apart piece by piece, and hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll have a, a pretty clear idea on what to do. Right, so we're going to begin by looking at the sticking pattern of the first eight notes. And it's very simple, it's just an inverted paradiddle. So if you're not sure what that sticking pattern is, all it is, is eight notes, start with the right hand, two lefts, and then a right. And then we flip that round so it's one left, two rights, and then a left. And that just sounds like this. Let's try that together. So if you've got some sticks to hand, grab them, get on a practice pad, and run this a couple of times. So it's right, left, left, right, followed by left, right, right, left. Let's try that a couple of times. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left. Okay, so now you've got that under your hands, let's have a look and see where is it orchestrated on the kit. Very first note, but the right hand is going to be on the floor tom over here. We're then going to have the left hand on the hi hat for two beats, and then the right hand coming back over to the snare drum. So those four notes sound like this. So right, left, left, right. And now we're going to be dealing with sixteenth notes. So we're going to be counting one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So let's count that off and add those four notes in. So one E and a, two E and a, three and a, four E and a. A three E and a, four E and a. A three E and a, four E and a. Okay, hope that makes sense so far. Now let's look at the next portion. So, we can see we have a left on the hi-hat, two right-handed grace notes on the snare drum, and then a left hand on the hats. So, if we count the bar, we'll have one E and a t one E and a t one E and a t Okay, now let's put beats one and two together, and you'll see how the inverted paradiddle sticking is applied. Okay. Hope you're with me up until that point. 
Okay, so beat three in the bar, because we've had one E and a two E and ah. Beat three lands on the bass drum with the right foot. So just very simply, bass drum on its own, one E and a two E and a three. Easy enough. Let's try that one more time, just, uh, just for luck. One E and a two E and a three. Right, now let's add together Beat one, beat two, and beat three. So it's inverted paradiddle beginning with the right hand, an inverted paradiddle starting with left hand on the high hat, and then the bass drum. Okay, here we go. Okay, hope that makes sense so far. Now, beat four, very, very simple. All we're doing is we're taking right hand on the snare drum, then the left hand on the hats, and then two beats on the bass drum. So, beat four. One E and a two E and a three E and a. And if we just backtrack into beat three again, just for a moment, what, we're, what I'm just remembering is that after I play the bass drum, I'm also going to add another two notes on the kit. So after the bass drum, listen for those extra two notes. That's helping me remember. It's a right, then a left, right hand on the snare drum, left hand on the hats. Okay, so now let's put the whole thing together nice and slowly, and uh, we'll just run it a couple of times, and hopefully you'll begin to get this under your hands. Okay, I hope that's working out for you. Uh, now what we're going to try and do is just create some tonal variation like we did in the, the first video. And we're just going to start to move our right hand around the drums a little bit just to create some tonal variation. So this is the same sticking pattern, same coordination, the same beat. We're just going to move that right hand around. And in that example, I also just move my left hand just out of habit there. Um, so you can see the kind of tonal variations that we can create by moving both hands around. Next thing, uh, a final thing with this, is just to throw in a couple of open hi-hat notes. And that'll just add a little bit of extra spice into the rhythm. So let's give that a whirl. So it's the same basic pattern, but we're gonna add some right hand movement, some left hand movement, and we're going to open the hi-hat a couple of times. Let's give that a whirl. Okay, so that's basically all the ingredients you need to uh, start working on that beat and developing your own sound with it. Uh, I'm going to mix all those different elements up now, just move the tempo up ever so slightly, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy the beat, and thanks very much for taking the time 
to uh, check out this lesson.